I'm super hot, but also cold. This is so good. This has lasted me three servings. I'm just now starting to recover and I want to give my body just a little bit more time. We are starting a new book, The Sound of Gravel. February 19th. I think I'm starting to become sick. My throat is really, really bothering me. So I just got a smoothie from Planet Smoothie. 450 calories, a bunch of berries, a banana. Very good. I need to get a lot of sleep tonight. I got like less than five hours to sleep. I could just not go to bed. And I seriously, I feel so hot and it's winter in the Midwest. So this isn't good. So it's February, Monday the 19th. Obviously, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll probably recognize that my voice sounds terrible. I woke up this morning and my voice and my throat did not feel great. I didn't get a great night of sleep, so I figured that was part of the reason. And throughout the day, it just progressively got worse and worse and worse to the point where I left work early because I felt so terrible. I'm super hot, but also cold. My head hurts. I've been taking ibuprofen. I had smoothies and I was like trying to have cold things because it's like I'm burning up. And so finally I left early because I was like every hour I'm here, I get worse and worse. I got home. I made some tea with honey I and lemon and it helped for a little bit, but like not really. And then I ran a bath and sat in the bath for over 45 minutes. And I was like, I need to get out. I need to work out. Like I wish instead of this bath, they would have worked out. When I got up, it immediately was just like shaking. I was so cold. I was like, I can't, I can't do it. So it's day 50. I will be missing my workout today. But I think like long term, this is the right move because I just feel terrible and I don't think it's going to help my condition. And it's only Monday, so I need to get better. Like I don't have sick days. I'd have to take PTO. I don't want to take PTO, so I'm hoping I can get a long night of sleep tonight and work from home and be okay. Um, so yeah, that's my update. 75 hard. If you miss a day, you have to start over from day one. I don't know if that's a rule with 75 soft, but I'm going to just continue after and tomorrow's going to be day 51 or maybe I just skip today. Tomorrow's day 50. We'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. Thank you for listening. <laughs> so I got pho just to hopefully help me feel better. This looks so good and it smells amazing. And I got my husband some food as well. All right, I have my pho and I got a little of the veggies from my husband's. This is all of my sick girl essentials. I have cough drops, I have Gatorade, I have water, I have backup water, ibuprofen, chapstick, ice packs, and lots of tissues. I have not been doing well. Wednesday the 21st. This is the first meal I've had in like 36 hours. I just feel terrible. I sound terrible. I've obviously not worked out, so this will be day three not working out. I just feel like the worst version of myself and I just want to be better. I look like crap. I feel like crap. I am unwell. I've been up for about 30 minutes. It's 3 p.m. I'm about to go back to sleep because I'm tired. It's Thursday. This is officially probably the most boring 75 soft vlog you've ever seen because it's just been me being sick so far. And I did not take a ton of clips of me being just a blob because I was really not my best self. I feel like I'm about 60%, maybe 70% to like back to normal. I'm still congested, congested. My throat still hurts. I'm literally just chugging liquids like at all times. But yeah, so it's been three days where I've missed my workout. I don't know if I'm gonna do it today or not. I think I might try to get a walk in. And I don't think I'm going to start over. I think I'm just going to keep going and then do like three or four extra days at the end. But 
big sick sucks. Like it really is the worst. I'm behind on work. I'm behind on my YouTube channel. I feel like crap. I'm behind on all my wellness and like challenge goals. So here we are. We're just going to keep pushing through. All right. I have my sick girl essential lunch with my pho or pho, however you say it, and edamame. This is so good. This has lasted me three servings. I'm going to start getting this a lot more. I'm ready to eat. It's 3.30 and I'm having some chicken noodle soup. This is so high in sodium, but soup is like the best thing ever right now. I've had three Gatorades, a Propel, a ton of water, two bowls of soup that and edamame and that's been what i've eaten today i am on the recovery i'm on the up and up i'm not gonna work out today so it's gonna be day four without working out just because i'm just now starting to recover and i want to give my body just a little bit more time and then tomorrow i'm gonna be back out of my workout game back on all of the things and i'm ready for it tonight's dinner charcuterie for one Friday, February 23rd. This has been like the one perk of being sick. This is the first day I've had my Apple Watch on in a while. <laughs> it's Friday. I need to get my exercises in. I need to get back to reading. We got this. This is my very chaotic and unappetizing looking lunch. I have like no food except for a bunch of soup because I've been sick. So I had some leftover lo mein from when we got Chinese food on Monday. So it's pretty much the last day this stuff will be good. And then I had a thing of shredded carrots that I just cooked with garlic because garlic is supposed to be good for like fighting sickness and stuff. I don't know. This is my lunch. All right, just did a 30 minute walk to end my work day. It feels good to finally be getting back to doing some stuff. We are starting a new book, The Sound of Gravel. Okay, it's Saturday evening. We just did 76 minutes of walking. And I have a nice little sweat going, so I am going to call it. I can't remember if I ended up recording yesterday or not, but I did go on a little walk with my husband and my dog to round out the uh, 45 minutes for yesterday. So we are fully back. We're back to the workouts and we're feeling good. I'm just very grateful to not be sick anymore. So if you're watching this and you don't feel good, I hope you get better soon. Sunday, February 24th. Two apples for breakfast. This is my extremely random lunch. I have like almost a full cucumber with everything but the bagel seasoning, some carrots. I'm out of ranch, so I'm just going to eat those. I have some turkey pepperoni, some, um, I can't remember what these are, but they are very good. It's like 130 calories and I have two. Um, so that's the serving. A few pretzels, very thinly sliced cheese, half a pack of crackers, and some nuts. And this is just my little lunch. All right, I'm in my PJs and I just did my 45 minutes of walking. This has just been a really crappy week. It's Sunday, February 25th. The lighting is horrible. I'm in my garage right now. I just got back from Aldi. And I don't know what has been going on with me, but I have been feeling just like doom and gloom about my weeks, about working. Okay, we need some light in here. Um, so I got food. It's seven o'clock. I'm home. I'm going to unpack the food. My husband is making chorizo chili. We're going to watch a movie and go to sleep. And I just feel like, I don't know. I, I've been in such a weird funk lately and I really hate it. Like my energy is really down. My mood is really down. I start getting the Sunday series like Saturday morning. 
so i don't know what is up with that but i'm really hoping i get out of this funk soon today's little haul from aldi i got some stuff for charcuterie some salad kits some veggies this cajun mix that looks really good and i got these just to keep at the office chorizo chili and some bread for dinner monday february 26th so let's talk obviously i have been unsuccessful in 75 soft because i did miss four days this week truthfully i was so sick i have not been like this in a long time i don't know what it was i took a covid test it was negative who knows but i had 103 temperature at one point i probably should, should have gone to the hospital but just slept a lot took a break needed to recoup needed my body to recover so i decided for four days to not do my workouts i wasn't reading I was taking in a lot of fluids, but besides that, obviously fell short of a few goals. 75 hard, the rules are you have to restart. I don't know what the rules are for 75 soft, but considering it's a softer version, I'm choosing to just be kind with myself and add four additional days at the end to round out and complete this challenge. If that bugs you, I'm sorry, but this was the best decision for me to make. I have been feeling really down lately and being sick definitely didn't help. I just feel like, I don't know, it's go, go, go. I feel like I've been behind with my YouTube channel. I have been kind of just struggling. And I was hoping that this challenge would kind of kickstart things and, and make things better. And I know at the beginning of this, looking back at some of my earlier videos, I had a lot more excitement and everything, and I just am hoping to get back to that. I don't know what it is. I need something. I need like a change of pace. I need a vacation, but I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to keep going. You're going to see other videos of me because I'm not giving up yet. I mean, this is, as much as this is just a challenge, this is my life, and I want to be happy with how I look. I want to be, you know, comfortable with my body. I want to be able to get new clothes and be happy about how they look. And not just for aesthetics either. Like I want to have more stamina. I want to be able to like go on runs or work out more and like push myself and lift heavier. So I'm not giving up. I'm definitely disheartened, but we're going to keep pushing. We're going to get this. So thank you for your support. Thank you for the comments. I do appreciate when you guys comment and you have suggestions or thoughts or encouragement. I truly, truly appreciate it. And let me tell you, like it does not go unnoticed. And I'm thankful for the support I've seen. I know the internet can be a brutal place and not everyone gets the same support, but truly I'm grateful for the people that care and support me and push me. And I'm going to keep going. So I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.